Hello and welcome to the Oracle Apex Tutorial 8 Up and Downloading Files Part 2 Video Training Exercise brought to you by MS Consulting. This part of the tutorial focuses on adding additional information as well as download links to the application. On the screen is a list of assumptions and requirements for this tutorial as well as the location of a full article with more in-depth information. We're going to start right where we left off with the previous part, which is we had just created a new table, item, and process for the downloading. So since we're still on our edit page, we're going to go down and we're going to modify the upload region. So we're going to scroll down, and we're going to click on Uploaded Files. We're going to come down here to Source, and we're going to change the source. And then once we're done with that, we're going to scroll back up, click Apply Changes, and then click Run. And you'll see now that since we are now including subjects, that there's no files currently that meet the criteria. So what we're now going to do is we're going to work on storing stuff in a custom table. So we're going to click Home to go all the way back home. We're going to click SQL Workshop. We're going to click SQL Commands and we're going to alter the table. We're going to paste in a command and run it. What this will do is add a new column to our subject, our file subject table to let us store the uploaded files within the application's workspace area instead of the universal area. Once we're done with that, we can go back to Application Builder, back to our download application, go on our Edit Page 1, and we're going to change the Insert File Description process so that it points at the new table information instead of the old table information. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to edit the process here. We're going to remove the old one and put in a new one. And then we're going to go up and click Apply Process. Apply Changes, sorry. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new procedure over in the SQL Workshop, SQL Commands, this procedure will actually help control the actual file download. So we're going to paste in the commands and click Run, and you should get a command that says Procedure Created. Now we need to grant some privileges to this procedure so that it will operate properly. So we're going to go, we're going to click our SQL Workshop again, then our SQL Commands, and we're going to enter this command here and click run. It'll say processed and that grants execute privileges uh, for the procedure we just created. Now we can go back home and go to application builder, our download application, our page one, and we're going to make a change to the report in the region. So we'll scroll down a little bit and we'll go uploaded files. And we're going to edit the region source again. We're going to put in the new region source. And we're going to come up here and click Apply Changes. And that's all set. Now, this next section I'm about to cover is for people who are not using Oracle 11G with the PLSQL Embedded Gateway. Again, if you're using 11G, you can skip this next part. What we're going to do now is we're going to actually edit the report so that it links to the new procedure properly. So we're going to go on Report, and we're going to click the pencil next to the ID column. We're going to scroll down, and we're going to change the value of the URL. We'll paste in the new value. Then we'll go up and we'll click Apply Changes. And if you're using anything other than 11G, essentially right now, you're all set. If you are using 11G, here we, here's where we are. If you're using 11G, we need to create a second page to handle an issue that exists with 11G. So we're going to click Create Page. And we're going to create a blank page with page number two, which is default, so you can click next. And we're going to 
give it a page name. Full information about exactly what we're doing here is available in the full article. We're not using any tabs. We can click Next, and then we can click Finish. Now we're going to click Edit Page. And now we have to create a region. So we're going to click Create. We're going to create an HTML region. And click Next with an HTML container. I'm going to give it a title. Click Next. Its source is OK as is, so we're going to click Create Region. Now we're going to create an item to exist within this region. We'll scroll down to Items and click Create. And it's going to be a hidden item. And click Next. And go Hidden and Protected. And we're going to give it a name, P2 DOC ID. Everything else is OK, so we'll click Next. All the defaults are OK here, so we'll click Next. And the source is OK, so we'll click Create Item. Now we have to edit a couple of the branch settings. So we're going to create a branch point, and this branch point is going to be uh, selected to be on load before header, meaning this will process before anything else. And the branch type is going to be to a PL SQL procedure. Go next. Now we're going to enter its target or the procedure that it's going to call which is available in the in the full article I'm going to click next then we're going to click create branch and now that that's set what we're going to do is we're going to go back to page one so I'm going to click my left arrow up here take me back to page one and I'm going to edit my report, which I'm actually going to be editing the settings on my ID, so I'm going to click the pencil. And I'm going to scroll down here to link. I'm going to change the target to be page on this application. And it's going to go to page 2. I'm going to set the P2 doc ID to a value of pound ID pound. What this does is when you click on the link it forces the load of this hidden page to make the download work properly under 11G with the embedded PLSQL gateway. So we click apply changes and we click run. As you can see there's no visible change to how it's operating which means we did the job right. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and we'll see you next time.